Dale back with you again. Steinberg have just announced the release of Cubase Pro 10.5. It just came out over the past couple of days here in the UK. And the upgrade is actually quite a reasonable value. Uh, if you've got Cubase Pro 10 already, it's going to set you back about £51. And there's a whole bunch of features. Let's go through some of the latest ones and have a look at them. So this is Cubase Pro 10.5 here. I've got the window open. And uh, click about Cubase. There you go, 10.5. First of all, let's take a look at the colored track feature. So if we go into mix console here, you can change the color of your channel as normal in the project window, but it also changes the color of the channel here. Look at this. So this is like uh, Pro Tools now, isn't it? You can change all of these colors in the mix window of the channels. I know other doors have been able to do this for ages, but having it on the mix window is actually really handy. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't have this already, to be honest with you, but there it is. So you can change the color of your mix window channel, and obviously that matches the color in your project window as well. Uh, spectral EQ comparison. This is cool. It enables you to compare frequencies between two channels or tracks that you select um, and then work out where they're competing with one another so you can cut or, uh, if it's your thing, boost EQ as required. So to get this working, you pop into your standard EQ window, the dialog pops up, select audio one, which is the bass guitar, audio two being the drum loop, and then you can boost and cut frequencies and, and see exactly what's going on in real time uh, where the frequency is competing and all that malarkey. So you can cut and boost. And then we can choose where we want to cut, where we want to boost those EQs in relation to the other channel that we're comparing with. Video export function, that's brand new as well, of course. Uh, we can click here and then click export video. It is uh, H.264 only, which is fine, and it's stereo out only. It won't do surround sound exporting, but hey, there you go. It's better than nothing, right? Also, you can now import channels and tracks from other projects. So if you click here, Tracks from Project, uh, click that. Let's choose a random project if we can find one. And that will come up with this dialog that allows us to choose uh, which track we want to import and where we want to import them from, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is a nice little thing. We can choose the track you want them imported to. We choose which track we want to have imported. Um, so if you've set like a, a, a drum mix that you like on one project or a piano mix that you like or a guitar mix or something, you can import it in without having to faff around. So all in all, I think the brand new Cubase Pro 10.5 has got some terrific additional features from professional musicians and composers. And that video export feature is perhaps the most sought after feature on Cubase. So well done Steinberg, finally. Just 51 pounds for the upgrade from uh, Cubase Pro 10. Uh, but if you're buying it brand new, it's about 480 pounds, something like that.